Hello everyone, my name is Geo, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man X4. We just defeated Split Mushroom and Jet Stingray with Zero, and now we are on our way to cyberspace to defeat Cyber Peacock with his overly dramatic silhouette. He lives in cyberspace and wants to destroy the network system. Well, I guess it's a little too bad that we're not on the Mega Man Battle Network timeline because this would probably be a lot easier to handle. How does it even work? Like, I'm sure Zero hasn't done any battles through cyberspace before. Like, how does he how does he even know that it's going to work out the same way that it works in real life? Is it like the Matrix? I guess it, it's kind of like the Matrix that whatever you are thinking or imagining is kind of what happens, but what do I know? So as you can see, this little diagnostic thing, oh, almost got hit by that, this little diagnostic thing is tracking us because Cyber Peacock is trying to test us to see what our abilities are like because he's working directly in line with Sigma, and Sigma wants to know all that stuff for some reason, because he's obsessed with X and Zero. And if you haven't noticed, any of those yellow spheres are extremely dangerous, but because I have Split Mushroom's ability, I can just cut through them like nothing. Otherwise, you'd have to hit them a bunch of times just to get them out of the way. Eventually, they'd go off screen, but... You know, it doesn't matter because we have Split Mushroom's ability. It makes everything a lot easier. Jumping over anything that helps us. No heart containers and no E-Tanks allowed on this playthrough. Gotta increase the challenge somehow. Mainly just because I feel like this is one of the easier Mega Man X games. And I think it's mainly because... You don't really take that much damage when you get hit, and then when you heal yourself, it heals so much health. In the original Mega Man X, if I tried- I mean, I've beaten it without getting any of that stuff, but it's really freaking difficult. Uh, I've tr I mean, like, the past times that I've tried to do it, uh, the final form of Sigma kills you so easily. He can kill you in like one or two hits, so you have to be extremely cautious. But this game gives you a lot more leeway in terms of getting hit. So that's why I feel like this game is the easiest out of all of them. I'm impressed you made it this far, but you can't beat me. Get ready. As you can see, his health bar has the Maverick symbol rather than the Repliforce symbol, showing where his allegiance lies. Oh, get up there. Almost got me. Ryun Gene is his weakness, and you can just use it over and over again, and he's absolutely pathetic. Um, Ryun Gene is actually the weakness of a lot of bosses, surprisingly. I'm gonna stop using it because I want this fight to be at least somewhat interesting. Ha, yeah! Ha, yeah! I love Zero. <laughs> he's just having a blast. Oh, you're gonna do the other side now? Well, that's alright. Launch as many peacock feathers at me as you want. They're not gonna do anything because you're dead. Oh no! You have violated me in my personal space bubble! <laughs> oh man. Power pose. That thumbs up was so powerful. It just raised the roof all by itself. Rakuhoha. Giga attack button on the ground. The ultimate special attack that channels all stored energy into one blast. Use this move selectively as it consumes a lot of energy. It's a very cool looking move, but I tend not to use it that much, save for some bosses. Alright, let's see. Cyber Peacock's down. We are gonna go to... We'll go to Frost Walrus just for the heck of it. He is massive. Holy cow. He protects the secret weapon which lies inside the snow... S oh, snow base. That's it. I couldn't tell because his body was covering up the entire word. 
For anyone that's played Mega Man X3, Blizzard Buffalo is that piece of wreckage in the background. That is not one of my favorite Mega Man X games, but I think it's pretty cool that they tried to put in little cameos here and there. Taking a leap of faith. Whoop! Almost got hit by the little happy snowman and some spikes. Not gonna let that stop us. Wow, Zero's a total dick. He's just taking out these people. Well, not these people. These fellow robots that are just trying to snowboard. What fun is that? Like, why do you gotta come all the way into the snow peaks away from all of civilization and just ruin their time? <laughs> it doesn't... It, it's none of your business, Zero. Just ignore them. They're snowmen. Aha! Another cameo in that ice over there. Anyone that's played Mega Man X1, that's Chill Penguin. Yes, indeed, that is Chill Penguin. Oh! I tend to take the risk to hit this boss with the fire, but a lot of times I get hurt when he closes his little fist. But it doesn't matter because we have tons of help. And as soon as we go to the next part of the stage, we get all of that health back. See? We get all of the health back. Unbelievable. Oh! Trying to do Shapuga, not really working. Watch out for these mines that are lodged in the ice. Oh! Oh man, get out of the way. I don't like any of you right now. I want to go this way. Stop taking me downward. And there we go. I probably could have saved time just by continuing to go the, to go the way that I was initially traveling, but that didn't work out, did it? There's a weapon energy thing stuck in the ice here, but we're not going to get it. Nor do we have any real use for it with Zero. The only weapon energy that he has is for his Giga attack, which we just got, but I believe that fills up just by getting hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's test that out right now. If I get hit, yeah, it fills up the meter. So there's absolutely no reason for Zero to pick up weapon energy. X, on the other hand, if you use his weapons a lot, yeah, that might help. Because all of his weapons use weapon energy. And they don't recover by getting hit. So Zero is just special in that regard. Alright, here we go, this big mother trucker. What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior. Hey, shut up and fight already. Oh, that does it. You're going down. And take a wild guess what his weakness is. Fire. Just like multiple bosses in this game. That's okay. Less time to think about what they're weak against, and more time to just beat the ever-loving crap out of them. Oh, that trick... That trick doesn't seem to work on him. The trick where you could do multiple slashes in a row. That's alright. I'm just gonna take him out with one final fire uppercut. Oh no! Victory. Come on, power thumbs up. Pshing! You won. You're Susan. Yo! Ret Susan! You're Susan. I don't know, whatever. I wasn't listening when he said it. Okay, down and special move button while jumping. A dive attack effective against surface enemies. It's a pretty cool looking attack, but I don't really use it all that much. Alright, can we squeeze in one more stage? Yes, I believe we can. Where should we go next? Not many options. I guess we will go to... We're gonna go into the jungle. Fighting that web spider. 
or I believe Web Spidus, as they call him in Japan, I think. He protects the secret weapon of the jungle. Web Spider. I hope that's not getting too annoying for you guys. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. What a lovely rainbow in the background. Um, although it didn't seem like it panned properly with the rest of the stage. Oh, oh man, come on. Pay attention. Pay attention! Oh. I almost let the, uh, the time that the screen froze for healing me let me let my timing get completely affected when dodging. Come on. How are they going down the waterfall so slow? I mean, I shouldn't be complaining, but I, 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 I would really like to know. Going up. Oh, maybe not. Trying to take the quicker route. Didn't work out very well. Oh, I should be trying out my new ability. Oh, wait, no. Not that ability. I was thinking of Web Spider's ability for some reason. That ability is really cool, and I can't wait to get that. Just because you can kind of make it into a combo. You can do two slashes and then immediately hit triangle, and that will make the lightning attack come out. So it's like, Hoo -ha, yeah! It's a really cool combo, I love it. Fire wipes out the bees! The bees! They sting, Justin! That's right, the new attack I got was the Ice Stab, which you just saw there. Shuretsuzan. I don't think I'm ever going to pronounce that properly. Fire has so many uses. Even create shortcuts. All right, let's do a power pose. Power pose, yeah! I would always do power poses or buster shots as I dash through the door and the other Mega Man X's. I don't know, it's just fun. I've been expecting you. All right, whatever, I don't care what you have to say. I just want to beat you up. Pound you into a spidery pulp. Sure, 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 sure. If you're not used to this boss, that web can do a hefty sum of damage, believe it or not. But as long as you avoid it, this boss is kind of a joke. When I was a kid, when he did this part of the boss, I uh, I always thought that the electricity would hurt you, so I tried to stay away as much as possible. But it actually doesn't do anything to you. You can walk right into that background electricity and you will be fine. So that's something to keep in mind, so you don't have to be afraid of it like I used to be. I want to know what that secret weapon in the background is pointed at. Is it like a city, or is it a Maverick Hunter base, or is it the moon? You know, they didn't really specify what these secret weapons are actually used for. Rakin Geki. A really cool looking move. Special move button on the ground. Lightning attack. Effective against distant enemies. But not too distant, because Zero doesn't have any super long range attacks, except for his Giga attack. Alright guys, we're going to leave it off right there. We got three bosses down that run, and we are left with Storm Owl. So we'll pick up on Storm Owl next time. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys later.